Hello, uh, this is um, a quick note uh, because uh, in the past I did um, a post and a video where I uh, said how to send uh, multiple records through the data contract and how uh, the form data source and directly the table and so on weren't good um, candidates to be used in the data contract. And instead what I did is uh, using the um, a, a container in the data contract. Um, I I did it like that way because I assumed in my example I was thinking on sending three, four, you know, ten, one hundred uh, records, but not more than that because we are selecting them in, into the user interface. But after that, I I was thinking that maybe. Uh, it could uh, guide you to uh, to a misunderstanding of me um, like promoting the use of containers in the data contract um, but containers are very slow when when you add many uh, elements to them so the good alternative to that is to use lists and here we are going to see how how we can adapt our example using the list so in the controller of course we go through the um, through the records in the form data source and we add it to the list as the same way we did with the container and in the service we create the list iterator and yeah we use the more and next and and uh, dot value uh, methods and the important thing is here in the um, in the data contract you have to put this uh, attribute to let the data contract and and the the, the sys operations um, what type the list is because lists only allow uh, one specific type for all the elements it's not like a container or or um, other like a map or other other kind of 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 collections in the list it's uh, basically you have to you have to decide before using it in the in the initialization what type you are going to use. It's dynamic. You don't have to put the length like it happens with the arrays, but it's always the same same data type. So doing that, it it will work perfectly. We have seen that. Yeah, and and if if we do it in in, in batch. It's going to also to work. We can do the we can do the debugging. Here you are, the data contract. It's here with the list with the different rec IDs, and yeah, it, it's a matter of how we look through it, and and that's it. It works perfectly, and it's a better solution than the container. I used the container because like I'm more used to to them but we have to understand what are they thought to be used for because the container can handle multiple different data types um, and it's like very easy to be used for for example when you have a function and it's returning more than one more than one value you can use a container things like that but it's time you insert into a container as it is a static data type. In execution time, it's uh, created a new whole container. It's not like in the list, in the list uh, you add and modify the actual uh, uh, instance of that list. In the container, you create a new whole container. That's why it's, uh, in, in terms of performance, it's a bad uh, solution. Thank you for your time. I hope that was useful and only wanted to check that uh, there weren't misunderstood with that.